every great journey begins with the first step. And we took our first step about a decade ago. We started in retail. Our first stores were kind of like many retailers, you know? They were your prototypical stores put in a mall. And then we discovered that if you can tailor a store uniquely to its setting, it can actually improve communities. All our stores have the same elements, but what sets apart the significant stores are their locations, which are typically the most important in that city, and the architecture. It's about getting out into the street, feeling what the locals feel, and then trying to unlock that which they miss themselves. Once we decide it's the right location, the challenge becomes, what are you going to paint there? What kind of store do you want to do? And we like all types of stores. You know, at times, it's something very modern, like we did at Fifth Avenue or on the Upper West Side. And at times, it's something very historic, like our store on Regent Street in London. When we talk about significant stores, they're really about bringing something special to a community beyond what they've had before. They end up being something that's specifically and uniquely created for that location, for that market, for those customers. Now I look at our stores, half the physical space is devoted to ownership experiences. About getting your personal training, coming into the Genius Bar. It's about creating a great experience once you bought the product. And when we do it right, they realize the store can be transformational to their life. The nice thing about this summer is we're gonna open four stores almost simultaneously in Shanghai, Paris, London, and Chicago that are each kind of the ultimate of what we've learned to date. In Shanghai, we're doing something very modern. We've got this spectacular glass cylinder that looks like it just you know, dropped in out of space. And it's located right across from Shanghai's major landmark, the Oriental Pearl Tower. We've made the largest pieces of curved glass ever manufactured, and there it sits. Most retailers view their space as the square footage they rent. We view our space, the environment we inhabit. And we kind of realized over time that there's something great about the history of these locations. And so when we go to a place like Paris, you, know, you want to respect that. The Apple store at the Opera is really all about preservation. And that space is so elegant. The skylight creates the sense of being, you know, not in a building, but really outside. And so we've restored that thing to its original intent. And in many ways, we show respect for so much history. You know, every one of our stores, our primary objective is to create a place that people will love. If we could have people visit these significant stores and be inspired to do something greater, I mean, that is significance. The Covent Garden store being the 300 store, it's such a perfect marker. I think everything from 300 on will be like nothing before. And so as we went to Covent Garden, we said, we have got to create something that is really an experience. What I love about it is that it has a kind of um, grit to it. And that's one of our challenges, to keep a bit of that sense and not try to make it something it isn't. You know, it's located on the most popular entrance to Covent Garden, and we have an entire building. As you enter, you're going to be pulled into this courtyard. And our hope is that we have captured the soul of Covent Garden through our store. Covent Garden will be the first store where all the interior and the exterior is all historic fabric. Our tables will be English oak, English oak flooring. And each room will host a unique Apple product line. And then as you move up the stairs, and we actually have two glass stairs. We've never done that before. They take you to our service, the hallmark of the Apple store. But then you're not done, because you can go all the way up to the third floor. 
And so there's kind of a, a grace with which you move or get pulled through the space. And I think people will enjoy discovering the store. Coven Garden, it's one of our most special and prized stores. And in many ways, it's the best that we've done so far because it's got all of our thinking from the 299 steps that have preceded it. And what we look forward to is that next step. Because like all good journeys, you never want it to end.